after an extra inning game is a nice thing to have. We're here after game two of the NCAA Regional in Spokane and we're with uh, the UT Dallas, University of Texas Dallas Comets and I'd like to let, let them introduce ourselves and then let Coach talk about the game a little. Jamie Andrea, Ryan Pitcher, Ronnie Corbin from the left fielder, and Shane Schumacher. Congratulations, guys. Coach, tell us a little bit about this game. A little well, bit of extra there, huh? Yeah, but it all started with this guy to my right here. I mean, he uh, just was battling all day and uh, gave us a chance. We gave up one early. Um, you know, their pitcher was throwing a heck of a ball game, and uh, we just kept battling and battling, and uh, Jamie gave us a chance to come back and tie it there late and did a great job for us. Yeah. I mean, when you say nine hits scattered, I mean, it was just – they had a few out there, but you scattered them. And uh, what was working for you? Uh, fastball away was probably my best pitch today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, I'm kind of used to throwing strikes, getting hit, or getting ground balls, fly balls. Like yeah. That. But uh, yeah, if you can just separate the hits from the runs, you're doing a good job. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. Yeah. Good, good. Um, and then at, pl at the plate, uh, two for three day, RBI, walk. Had a pretty good, good job there, especially at the end, huh? Nice little, nice little knock there. Appreciate it. Yeah, um, pitchers today were, you know, they're killing it, chunking a lot of stuff, was making it hard to hit. We weren't having the best ABs at the beginning, but we really built it up, and it was just a matter of putting it together and stringing it along to put some runs in at the right time. So, is this a something that's happened to you guys throughout the season, or is this just something that you you're here and you just made the best of it? You know, I mean, it's one to nothing for nine innings. Right. That might have been one of the fastest ball games going into the ninth inning. I think it was under two. Yeah, it was. It was under two hours. And um, But, you know, for the last month or so, we've been swinging it really, really well. I mean, we've been putting a lot of runs on the board. And, um, you know, today we just found a way. We knew it was going to be a battle when you come into regional, uh, you know, facing their one of their top pitchers. You knew you were going to have to battle. And we did that, and we finally found a way there in the ninth inning to scratch one across. That was, yeah. I mean, and you, and you had the chance there, and it was unfortunately that little snap throw down the third kind of ended that. But I mean, but you guys know he's he's done that quite a bit. Right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but that's uh, that's and then putting the putting the couple runs across there at the end, that was uh, great stuff. You guys, Ronnie, talk about that uh, bat in the ninth inning down your last strike. What did you see, and uh, what was your thoughts going into there? That was a really tough at bat. Um, I went in there looking for the outside fastball. Uh, the one part of the game was giving the low part in the zone, and mm -hmm. so that made it really difficult going to you know every at bat because you knew you had to sort of expand the zone a little bit when it came to your approach. So I saw a lot of off speed. I saw a lot of fastballs. He tried to break me in a lot, but you know I was just trying to make sure I got my front foot down in time, stay on time, foul off what I could, and eventually he threw me an outside fastball, and I got lucky and I squared it up. So just trust the process and things sort of worked themselves out. It's and it seemed that way to me watching that, uh, as the later the later the game went, the deeper you were going into every every at bat, every batter at bat was going deeper into counts. Uh, I mean, was that just a bit of patience or just good eye or get, like you say, fouling off contact? I think we had a change in intensity. Um, normally, when we play teams, we sort of you know put them in a coffin pretty early on, and we try to nail it in and just bury them, but we had a lot of momentum, I guess you would say, building up. It took a long time, but once we really had that intensity, you know, everyone was just really focused, and the ABs, I think, improved once we sort of had that intensity. Sure. Jamie, talk about your defense today. You had two outfield assists to help you out early in the game. You had a great uh, jumping play, leading play by Bersiaga at second base. Talk about how the defense helps you maintain the control throughout eight innings. I mean, like you just said, it helps maintain, uh, gives me a lot of energy. Uh, knowing that I have a defense behind me that will field anything that happens, uh, pop fly, ground ball, line drive that's just a little bit above your head, jump up and make the catch. I mean, I give almost all the support and uh, thanks to my outfield infield for doing a great job. Coach, we have Jamie and Rodney in here, but talk about Garrett Hill, his job, those last two, uh, two innings, those last six outs. He's your closer. He comes in in a tie game with a runner on second. Talk about what he, he showed you today. Oh, it was huge. You know, I, you know, I brought him in in a bind there, runner on second, nobody out. And uh, he just came in and didn't panic, made pitches. 
and got us out of that inning. And then, then there in the 10th, I guess it was, uh, they had a runner on, got a couple of runners there late, but you could tell he was poised under control and uh, we felt very confident he was going to close that thing out. Thanks, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.